What is going on, everybody? Alex here. Thank you for joining me here today to talk about what coaching is. This is a video for you guys who are interested to hear more about what coaching means, why you're seeing the name and the word and the label coaching being thrown around everywhere. Perhaps you're curious about being coached. Maybe you've uh, had a friend who was coached recently or is being coached and you want to kind of hear a little bit more about what it all means, uh, what it doesn't mean. This is also for those of you guys who are considering becoming coaches, maybe as a like a part-time thing, supplemental income thing, or you want to kind of go both feet into becoming a coach full time, maybe it really intrigues you, but you wouldn't mind a little bit of extra clarity around what coaching means. Um, this is obviously coming from my own perspective, what I've learned, what I know to be true for me in terms of what coaching means for me. So this is through my own filter, of course, but this is why you're here. You're looking to see things through my filter and um, hopefully I'll be able to create a little bit of sense and a, a bit of extra clarity around what coaching means to to help you um, take this concept out of mystery and into a little bit more clarity for you and, and, and maybe you can do something with it from, from this point on. So let's jump into it then guys. Uh, again, I'm always looking for feedback around the video structure, how I'm presenting this to you, what works, what doesn't work, whether the sound quality is coming through okay, all that kind of stuff. Always keen to hear more from you on those things. What is coaching? What is coaching? So we see a lot of people um, describing themselves as coaches. You see myself describing myself as a coach and you're curious to, to know how I define it, what it means and um, what, what its purpose, what its value is in the world. I'm not going to go into too much depth because this could very well be a, you know, a 20 hour long marathon if I'm really going into depth on, on all the little bits and pieces of what coaching is. I'm going to, I'm going to try and keep it brief and really focus in on the nomenclature, so to speak, the, the labeling of what it all means, um, the naming of it. Obviously, the word coach, the label coaching is, is, uh, is just that. It's a word, it's a label, and of course, it can mean different things to, to various people. But I think from, from what I've learned and what I have seen my mentors talking about and what I, what I know to be true, there is a common a commonality that runs through it that I think is worth um, shedding light on to give some clarity to those of you who, who um, don't, aren't quite clear on what it all means. There is a common thread that runs through um, coaching and I think is deserving of the of the label of coaching. So, so I want to just talk a little bit about what I see coaching not to be um, to sort of kick things off and to create that extra clarity. So what 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 is coaching? Um, not. First of all, coaching isn't consulting. So we can often get mixed up between consulting and coaching. And a lot of coaches will call themselves consultants and a lot of consultants will call themselves coaches. There is obviously plenty of overlap, but it's worth creating and, and being clear on the distinction between consulting and coaching. Um, and to know that if you are indeed consulting when you think you're coaching and vice versa, um, it's obviously worth bearing in mind, isn't it? You want to you want to know that you're in the right bracket here, and you're uh, really delivering what you're going to be telling people. So, consulting versus coaching, there is a difference. Consulting is essentially um, telling people in direct terms how to do something, uh, and this will often come as a result of your own experience in a particular field. So when I first started coaching, I was really more of a consultant than a coach because I was spending more of my time with clients face to face, telling them how to do business, telling them what I thought to be the right steps to take. So it's a very detailed oriented, very steps oriented um, approach to supporting other people. I mean, the, both both are forms of direct support that the coach or the client, uh, consultant will be paid for ultimately for this kind of support, this kind of guidance. They're both forms of guidance, but consulting is very much more on the side of telling people how to do things, being explicit with the steps that need to be taken. Um, obviously, coming from the consultant, it's going to be through their own opinions and through how, how they know to do things, but it's going to be very much a case of almost verging on teaching. So you're, you're having two people come together, one person doesn't know how to do something, the consultant will guide them through the steps that need to be taken and um, relay 
how things are done based on their own experience, based on their own knowledge. Often it's based on their own book knowledge as well. So um, something to bear in mind when you are considering going into coaching. Do you want to be consulted or do you want to be coached? And we're going to go into what coaching means in a second. But consulting is very much a case of I need to get hold of some more knowledge. I need someone who's been through this experience who can tell me about how to do it. Um, how can I? Uh, and it's obviously going to have a plenty of value if you're looking for actual details and the finer things and like what kinds of uh, components make up a machine that you're building, a system that you're creating. But there is overlap. Coaching is more about, um, and I wonder whether to go into this in a bit like further down in this presentation after I've actually talked a little bit more about what coaching isn't. So let's let's do that. Let's let's stay with this track. Cons it's co coaching is not consulting. And I've just explained what consulting is. The second thing that coaching is not is mentorship. And again, this is quite similar to consulting, but I wanted to make the distinction around mentorship. Mentorship is something that people will seek out um, from people who have experienced something directly. They have gone through the challenges and the obstacles and they've kind of come out with the success. And you might seek someone out to be your mentor who will relay information knowledge and stories around how they went through their own particular challenges in a particular area so you might find a mentor who has um, found a certain amount of success as a writer for example or an artist or a business leader and you might want to um, get in touch with these people to help guide you through your own process as you are finding things in the early stages of where they might have already experienced um, the full spectrum and you'll be kind of getting getting hold of that uh, that guidance from a mentor who has who has done the thing you want to do and you're kind of in a, in a way getting a head start um, you're, you're potentially leapfrogging all kinds of distractions and, and um, uh, challenges and hurdles that you might otherwise not have been able to sidestep if you hadn't had a mentor so so mentorship again very similar to consulting you're kind of relaying information but mentorship is very much around talking to someone who's had direct experience and it's not necessarily paid you can have a mentor who gives you uh, you know personal uh, personal advice for free and is just willing to offload some of the knowledge and the, and the stuff that they learned um to fulfill themselves or it might even be in a paid um, a paid setup um in which case it's it's becoming more consulting but coaching is not mentorship although you can have elements of mentorship within coaching absolutely you can have elements of consulting within coaching i mean to get to what i define as con con uh, coaching in a minute so it's not mentorship and it's certainly not therapy although again there are certain aspects of therapy that you might describe as therapy that you can also see in coaching therapy is very much looking into someone's past and at least this is through my own perspective from, from what I know of therapy. Therapy is more about, okay, what, what psychological challenges are you having? And uh, let's talk about those things and let's go into the content of what's in your mind and let's talk about your past. Let's talk about what kinds of traumas you've had. Let's talk about who in your life has um, perhaps made you feel lower self-esteem about certain things, whatever it is, you're looking at the content of your mind and your very much looking um, into your past as a way to um, straighten things out and to help you see things in a different light. And um, that, that's how I see therapy. It's very much a kind of past um, centric form of guidance and support. So you're not talking about your future much. You're not talking about um, how to level up. You're not talking about how to um, move in a certain direction and achieve particular goals so much in therapy it's more about let's let's fix you let's talk about what's what's wrong in your head and let's try and straighten that kind of stuff out that for me is therapy and that's not what coaching is although there are certain aspects um, and strategies that are used in therapy that is also going to be used by a coach so it's not therapy number four coaching helps bring out the best in a client so this is really what coaching is about coaching if i had to really drill down um, the very best of what I have found coaching to be used for and why people would seek coaching out, why someone would um, would want to have a coach 
And and here's the funny thing is the paradox here is that a lot of people, um, if they're seeking a coach, they don't necessarily know what a coach is going to give them. But they are using all of the knowledge they have already built up around what they think coaching to be as their guiding force to want to seek out a coach. But when, you know, there's a lot of people out there who, who might think they want a coach, but they don't really know what they want. And they might be thinking that they're going to get some kind of consulting or therapy or mentorship, but actually it's not really any of those things if I'm defining coaching in its really raw sense, in its most powerful sense. And for me, coaching, if I'm defining myself as a coach or I'm looking for a coach nowadays, I'm looking for someone who's going to bring the best out of me. I'm looking for someone who's going to encourage transformation in me um, in such a way that I am able to lift myself up to whatever results I'm looking for in life and perhaps even go way beyond the results I can even I even thought was even possible for myself. So it's, it's really about playing in the future. It's about um, ra raising the frequency of the client to a higher level. It is about helping the client realize their own power it is about uncovering the genius and the magnificence and the capability to keep it simple of the client it's about helping the client realize what what they are able to do and it's about giving them a uh, i suppose a step up to start helping them move in that direction with momentum and aliveness and a lot of it is really intriguing because the, the coach doesn't necessarily have to know anything about how this person runs their business or or uh, they don't necessarily need to know the details of how some a particular project, for example, is going to pan out. That's more of a consultant's job. And you might find that you are looking for a coach and a consultant if you're looking to kind of level up in, in two different avenues, two different parallels. But again, a coach is really there to... Um, um, yeah, to, to through conversation, through asking, probing and, and, um, and, and encouraging questions and questions that help the client um, deliver and find and, and, and stumble on their own insights to help them bring the best out of the client. So whenever I've had a really good coaching session with my own coach, it's always been when they haven't necessarily told me what to do. They haven't necessarily said this is the right way, this is the wrong way. They have encouraged me to realize kind of return to my own genius my own uh confidence my own yeah okay to call myself a genius is a little bit sounding quite quite big for my boots but that that very much is the case of what good coaching can do what good coaching can bring out in someone um, we all have a, a, a genius within us we all have our uh, most alive most creative most in touch spiritually version of ourselves that the coach is um, there to to help bring out and you'll see this in, in 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 all kinds of people from you know the average joe to to really high performing people they very often come against their own barriers their own self-created obstacles even if they've come really far and they've done huge amounts of successful things in their lives almost everyone if not everyone will get to a point where they um do a pretty good job of sabotaging themselves or coming up against their own blocks their own mental hurdles their own uh, beliefs that hold them back their own um, resistance and you might think that when i describe coaching as bringing the best out in someone it sounds kind of petty it sounds almost um you know sort of uh, airy fairy and kind of pointless in a way why why would someone pay money to, to have someone bring the best out in them but it can make a tremendous amount of difference just to have someone to to listen to the client and to hold space with the client and to in, just simply be there to bounce ideas off the client as well and ask the kinds of questions that no one else dares ask. That alone can create such a transformation in someone and help someone overcome a, even a, a very tiny barrier that they keep repeatedly coming up against just by asking the right kinds of questions just by being present and conscious with a client and and showing that you care and genuinely caring and and demonstrating your belief in that person it can make all the difference in helping someone overcome small challenges big challenges and really 
go further than they ever thought they could by focusing on the little things and and really being an effective coach in that sense an effective coach knows how to really coach someone and that doesn't necessarily imply that being a coach is a complicated and complex and um you know requires a ton of genius it doesn't require like the cleverest person in the room to be a, a great coach it requires someone who's willing to be present to really listen to um the client to to speak back what the client is saying so that the client feels connected with and, and heard which is very rare for a lot of people a lot of people do not have the experience of truly being listened to and and knowing that the client is able to experience that pleasure of being listened to um there's a lot of power in that because that's something that um clients respond to very well if you if you if you are able to show that you're listening they're going to be more connected they're going to have more of a sense that they're able to make an impact in the inside the call but also well beyond the call um and it's also going to create space and it's going to relax the client to the to the degree that they are able to come up with their own insights and so getting getting to that level where it's where it's more a case of look you already have everything you need to know you know what to do next you know what gets you excited you know where you need to go in life that is going to keep you really motivated and is going to allow you to kind of explore your own fullest potential all of that is already there the, the coach knows this the coach knows that their client already knows everything that they want but the coach is really a facilitator to get the client looking in that direction and that alone is extremely powerful to have someone who's there who gives time you know an hour an hour and a half who gives that kind of time to someone is hugely valuable i've seen it myself in my own being coached and i and i can see the value that it's creating in my own clients like that is huge um of course creating results as a result of this transformation in the client is what it's all about you know it's 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 not just about the transformation you want to make sure that uh results are being connected to that change to that transformation to that realization and so you're not being paid as a coach for your time you're being paid for the number of hours you've spent pouring over books and your interest in human behavior and, and of course what that then translates to in through a conversation and ultimately in the results that are created through that conversation you're being paid for the results that you can create in someone and in that sense what's really exciting is that there is no end to how much you could theoretically be compensated as a coach because if you're looking at results if you're looking at okay how can i 10x my client's business because i'm helping them realize their own their own power um there is no end to that because you you're always going to be focused on the growth you're always going to be focused on potential i had another point yeah to take it a step further a lot of people are worried about offending other people and if you are if you're worried about offending other people or you're worried about making someone else feel uncomfortable welcome to the real world it's a very um pervasive kind of form of resistance that holds a lot of people back from really making an impact in someone else's life but also their own lives is to is to get real is to kind of move towards truth and the really best coaches the really best coaching and the reason I say it's the best is because it's going to lead to encouraging real results in the client is by moving towards truth, is by really challenging the client. It's by demonstrating and showing and reminding the client that there is um, there is something real there. You need to be returning to what's real, like what's the real issue here? What's true here that no one else is telling you is true? Like what's something you're going to have to accept and come to terms with because when you can get into truth that's where you really get to the root of something that creates the most leverage in in your life and what you what you decide to do um so a good coach doesn't skirt around the truth a good coach doesn't 
focus on the surface level. A good coach gets to the root of something so that real change can be made and real results can be made from that change. The best coaching challenge is the client. So if you're looking to become a coach and this kind of thing sounds interesting, keep listening. I'll be sharing a lot more about the profession of a coach and I speak as someone who is nowhere near full mastery as a coach. I, I wouldn't claim to be the best coach in the world by any stretch. I wouldn't claim to be, um, you know, there yet. I'm, I'm still learning. I'm still in, on my own journey as a coach. I, I've only been doing it for a few years, so I'm still very much considering myself um, in the early stages. But at the same time, I, I, I can see um, and feel and, and um, take pride in a lot of experience that I've now that I've now gathered through, you know, hundreds and hundreds of hours of coaching calls with people and, and my own interest in my in my own self change. And, and uh, you know, I've been my own student, my own guinea pig throughout my life. So there's a ton that I've learned that I can now, thankfully, turn into helping others uh, in this way. So so keep listening if you want to hear more about this kind of stuff. Um, I didn't really go into much depth on the on the challenging the the client, but that that's a really really important component of good coaching. It's like you can have kind of surface level nice coaching, but you can also have like high flame, um, high challenge coaching, which is what I'm always pushing myself to move into as well. Um, and it might be uncomfortable in 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 parts to go there to to really ask the tough questions, but this is where the the most transformation will happen, and you might find yourself. Um, putting off some people. Some people might not like it. Some people might not like the idea of being pushed. Um, pushed in a gentle sense. You've got, to, you've got to be careful about how, how you push, but um, people are yearning to be challenged. People are yearning to have the truth um, be brought out of them and, and of their environment. People want to see the truth. They want to feel the truth. They want to be in truth. So a great coach is able to bring them there. A great coach has the courage to to be fearless in that sense, to really bring up the tough questions. So so hopefully just through this conversation, you guys are getting a sense of the power of coaching and that it's not just a um, you know, a trendy word that's going to be here, here yesterday, gone tomorrow type thing. This is a real a real valuable um, career that is going to be of tremendous use to 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 everyone, really, who's willing to be coached. But there's also a, a ton of opportunity to be a coach and to, to to craft a career in this. And I can tell you this, it's not been uh, a quick, what, what's the word? <laughs> it's not it's not been a kind of get rich quick scheme by any stretch at all. It's not, you know, good money can be made, absolutely. But it takes a lot of a willingness to to, to commit to this and to, and to take the hits and to take the, the, the continual rejection in the early days um to to kind of strengthen yourself as a person as a character as a coach and to keep to keep doing it requires a a lot of courage and a lot of um determination so it's um it's certainly something that um can be very lucrative and, and very good to you and, and and a great character builder and a great source of your own growth and that for me is enough to keep me in it and to keep me proud about what i do because it's not easy so um i hope you can can also see see the sense of how that might be true of how coaching really is valuable of how it's um, game changing and can really not only change your clients' lives but through um, the ripple effects that coaching someone and lifting them up can create throughout the rest of the world in in that they will be having a positive effect on the people around them and so on and so on. Coaching can be extremely powerful and can be really you know game-changing, world-changing profession that I am excited to talk more about. So this is why I'm here. This is what I want to talk about um, in more depth. I'm obviously going to be talking in other videos on, on the usual stuff, um, um, you know, self-development, creativity, productivity, making the most of yourself, making the most of this world, doing, uh, you know, self-expansion, self-development, that kind of stuff. But coaching kind of brings it all together. Coaching makes this a very real um coaching is for me the reason i bring in the coaching is because um 
you can make a career out of this. You can, you can, it's not just about creating content and just sort of, uh, putting stuff out into the ether. This is about helping you guys actually make a profession from this kind of stuff as well. So the reason you guys keep coming to my videos is because presumably you're interested in self-development, self-growth. And if you're interested in that, then, um, you're interested in human behavior. And if you're interested in human behavior, then you could very well be a very good coach, um, and do very well at this. So, so stay posted. If you want to hear more, do subscribe, do like this video. If you liked it, share it with your friends who might also be potentially interested in being coached or being a coach. Any questions, I'm always keen to hear more of them. And um, yeah, what other questions do you have about the life of a coach? Again, like this is more about me documenting my own journey as a coach, as a rather than me telling you about like, this is how it should be done. This is how, how I do it. I'm, I'm great, etc., etc. This is more about me just documenting my journey as I go. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking to kind of expand my my coaching career and get better and better and develop mastery in it as I go. So, so I'm, I'm excited for you to be joining me on that, uh, on that journey. So without much further ado, I'm going to close off. It's been a pleasure. Stay well. And uh, yeah, speak soon.